Please welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial is how to cut your maxi gown. But this part is the down part of the tutorial. Why the raptor that we did is the upper part of the tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to calculate, measure, and also sew the down part. It's going to be a gathered maxi gown. It's a one-sided slit. So remember that what we are using for this tutorial is only your waist measurement, your round waist measurement. We are not needing your hip or whatsoever. It's only the waist that that means this gathered skirt. So right now, my waist is 32. 32 divided by two. I'm not going to divide it by four. We are going to divide it by two. Front and the back measurement so 32 divided by 2 we give me 16 both the front and the back so this 16 i will now times it by how many times do i want it to be like how flowy do you want it to be you want it to be normal gather skirts or do you want it to be big gather skirts depending on what you want to achieve so i'm going to times this 16 16 times 3 this three is my actual three times my actual waistline. I repeat myself. My actual waistline round waist is 32. 32 divided by two front and the back panel, which will give me 32 divided by two, which will give me 16. I'm not dividing by four because we are going to fold it by two to get the actual waistline for front and the back. So once I get the actual waistline, the next thing for me is to now times how many times I want it to be. Is it times so if you dice it by two, you will not get your actual waist, you will not get that flowy or normal gather skirt. So now I'm dancing, I'm dancing mine by three. That three is equally by six, front and back total. So now I times that 16 by three, which gave me 48. So right now, because I want it to be not too big, not too small, flowy gown. So right now. I'm going to measure see I folded this my this my fabric into two both the front and the back remember it's going to have slits at the front and also zipper at the back so which means I I will add I will add extra two inches to it so now this is my waistline so I will measure out 48 inches So this is my 48 inches. I have extra four and a half inches to you can do yours. That's your waist, front waist divided by two times whatever you want to times. You can times yours by by five, six, four, five, six, seven, blah blah blah, and so on and so forth. And this is how I'm going to divide it. You know, I'm going to divide it into two at the first part. That into two will serve as my front and my back panel. Then for the back panel, I'm going to divide it into two again, which will serve as my front, which will serve as my left and my right side. The reason is because it's going to have zipper at the back. If not for the zipper, I'm not going to split it. The next thing is for me to make sure that the edges are equal. Once you cut the back panel, you will have to separate. So for the front panel, this is the front panel. Remember, it's going to have slits. I'm going to divide it into three. So this is it. I have divided it into three. The smallest part will be 
and the style, depending on the style you want it. You understand your sleeves to be at the right leg side or at the left leg side, depending on what you want to achieve. So right now, this is what, this is the one, two, and this is the third part. So since I have achieved this, I'm going to also fold, then squeeze the two ends, like so. So I'm not going to divide it, depending on the side you want to divide. But here, I'm going to divide this side. going to squeeze again so after squeezing I'm going to separate this is it this is for my front this is for my front panel so here this side will be at this side while this will be here so you can see the trick of it so I'm going to put my gathers but before I, I insert my gathers I'm going to join here together I'm going to join this side together that to show you guys how I achieve every stitch and loop of this gather skirt you can see this is the front panel you can see what I did here I stitched here can see the lines this um you can see this slit line the slit length is cool i did um from the actual waistline to 12 inches so this is the back panel you can see where the zipper is supposed to be i left it open and stitched down here all through for my gathered skirt what i will do since i have cut everything out in place so i will go to my stitch length which is here so if you have industrial machine just check at your right hand side of your machine you will see we will see a knob numbered zero to five so i'm going to increase the length of my stitch to the to the last number what i have here is five so once i put it on five you will notice that your stitch length will be longer and it will be a little bit loose so here also at this point i'm going to loosen it up so my stitch will be loose so after i'm going to stitch and show you guys the result i achieved with this so i'm true gathering you can see where i gathered here can see it's very well so this is the front panel you can see the back panel this is like the easiest gather skirt i have made so far so right now what i'm going to do now is to start i'm going to attach stitch the two sides then after stitching then you can sew round also i think this is what i'm going to do i'm going to stitch the two sides of my uh, gather skirt then attach the waist to waist like them this is how looks like i have not fixed the zipper yet so this is how it looks like you can see here here is kind of open if you make it to be normally what what we drafted was shoulder graph right? so this is how it looks you can see here there's opening here there's also opening here and uh, i don't like how this thing is i want it to be on my actual waistline so i'm going to it then trim out one inch from the upper part after trimming out one inch i'm going to adjust my waistline and the next thing i'm going to do is i want this to be something like this so how do you see this one i think i prefer this one compared to the normal shoulder slope this kind of gives it more vibe and more to make it more cheap after adjustments, the results came out nice. I love the back, the shape of the back and also how my zipper is flat and the wrap upper part is so beautiful and amazing. Just take your time, you will achieve that perfect result you want in your wrap top or your wrap gown. I hope you enjoyed this video.